So Jesse and Paul, Paul. here at uh, Kehoe Beach. You said West Marin County, right? Part of Point Reyes. He knows. Um, and I'm just recording this video with my cell phone camera. I have to say, I'm very disappointed in myself for not bringing my camera with our walk. We just took a walk from where we're sitting to eat lunch all the way down to one side of the beach and back. And we saw some very interesting things. Paul, what did we see? We saw a dead seal on the beach. How do I don't know how we missed that on the way over. I guess we were closer to the water and not up on the sand like we were on the way back. We saw cows on the top of cliffs right on the edge. Huge sea anemones. Huge sea anemones that we poked and they closed up and it was really cool. A couple of dead bees on the on the ground that little beach hoppers were eating. It was kind of interesting and gross. Uh, what else did we see? And then of course it was just really pretty to walk. What, what is that hand fish? Lots of jellyfish. Oh yeah, that was the first thing I noticed is that there was only four other people here besides us. Two of them we could only see from the trail on the way in and we couldn't even see them when we got here. And then two people that were just far, far down on the beach that took us a long time to walk to. Um, and there's sand crabs everywhere. Paul, what's that shiny thing in the water? Is that a boat? I think there's a boat in the water right there. I'm sure you can't see it on my camera, but I see something like a metallic object reflecting. Yeah. That's a boat? boat? Yeah. Small boat to yeah. be out here. We usually see them. We saw a boat? <laughs> I got that on camera. Um, but I was saying that there's sand crabs like everywhere. As you're just walking along the beach, you just feel them all under your feet. We found a little pocket of air bubbles in the sand where you just scoop your hands in and pull them out. And there was like hundreds of little baby sand crabs in this like one big pocket of crabs. It was really interesting. And you know, crab exoskeletons or dead crabs or whatever, just all along the beach, jellyfish all along the beach. It's really quiet and peaceful here too. It's a pretty big beach. So I want to come back here again and be a little more prepared and hopefully it'll be sunnier and bring a camera and record some of this stuff because I really like it down here and it's really pretty so that's all I have to say. And see if we can figure out the tide so we can hike a little further around through the rocks. We weren't sure if the tide was going to come in and we'd get stuck to try to figure out when the tide's going far out. Yep, because we were walking towards a rock that had like a hole straight through the middle of it, and I really wanted to see that. So, alright, that's it for now. The least I could do is get a little video footage of this beach. Just for a Probably not the greatest quality with my camera, but it's something. Dead things everywhere. Oh, look, it's like a little shrimp. Not sure I've ever seen one of those before. In person. <clears throat> There's that boat again, going back the other way. I don't know that I've ever seen these seaweed or whatever they are get quite this big either.
get closer to the water. Lots of jellyfish. Poke, poke. And I guarantee you, there's sand crabs all over the place. Well, there's one anyway. When we were walking further down that way, you just feel them under our feet like rocks. There's hundreds and hundreds of them. All right, well, I couldn't help myself. As soon as I finished eating, I tried to go recreate some of the sights I'd seen and bring my video camera along with me this time. Again, just my cell phone video camera, so you get what you get. <clears throat> so this is nothing close to the cool experience walk that I just had with Paul, um, but I'm just gonna try to capture a couple of the things that are close to where we sat down to eat lunch. Because uh, where we walked down the beach is probably over two miles so I'm not gonna take that walk again right now after I ate but here you go this is a really pretty area where this river almost meets the ocean I wonder if at you know certain times if the tide is up or if there's more rain or whatever if they actually connect I don't know Paul knows more about that stuff than I do but it's crazy because it's a world of difference. I mean, it was just two minutes ago that I was right down by the water listening to the, you know, roaring wind and the sound of the waves crashing on the shore. And it just takes me a couple minutes to walk over here. And I just have these soft, gentle, just completely, you know, soundless, light waves. I can see tadpoles in there. I don't know if the, my video camera will catch it. There's a bunch of little tadpoles at the bottom of the water, and it's just really calm over here. I like it. The area where the two people we could see from the path on the way in that I was telling you about, they were right around that uh, corner on the left up there. They had some chairs set up, and they were just sitting by the peaceful water, I guess, talking, eating lunch. Maybe I'll go there next time. Is really nice. There's tadpoles just all along the edge of the water. I can still see them. Cool piece of driftwood there. Could maybe sit on. Wow. I'm gonna take another picture here. I don't know if this is a sand crab or some kind of a shrimp or what. I don't know much about these things, but I just found it washed up on the shore. I've never seen one with those little, uh, well, long things on their mouths. Antennas? I don't, I don't really know what they are, but this guy's still alive, so I guess I'll go put him back by the water and hopefully it does some good. I've seen a lot of death on this beach so far today. A little life can't be a bad thing. So, I hope I'm doing the right thing. He's moving at least. Bye. Last thing I had to record was I had to go back to where we found that dead seal. Because even though it's a sad thing, it's also just really interesting and kind of beautiful for me to see a creature up close like that that I really have no experience uh, seeing before in my life. So I'm walking back to it and the reason I'm starting to record so early is because, well just like I, I don't know much about sea life, I don't know much about birds either, but there's some kind of carry-on bird over there, a few of them, maybe three that I can see from here. Looks like they're standing on top of its body, so I have no idea how close I have to get before they fly off but I thought it would be interesting to capture that, so I'm just going to keep recording all the way up to it. <clears throat> yeah, we saw these things flying around here when we first came in, but we didn't really 
I didn't really think that that necessarily meant that there was something dead in the area. I mean, there's always going to be small dead creatures around here or crabs that they can swoop down and pick up if they do that. I don't know. But it looks like they're here for a reason. They don't attack people, do they? By the time you answer that question, it's going to be a little too late. There's one flying overhead. Oh, two flying overhead. Someone want to tell me what those are? Big black bodies, red faces. I'm sure someone watching this video knows. Wow. Those are big birds. Wow. Whoa, there's a lot more than I realized. How cool is that? How many do I count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a tenth one up there. Ten of these things. Wow. Well, here it is. We got blood on the sand. Oh, gross. That eye was not so picked out when we were here last time. They've been eating his eye. Water dog. It's whiskers. Wow. Leave no disrespect recording you, my friend. Hide something to him. I don't know if they're just trying to make it more visible. I don't know the difference. I don't know if they're just trying to make it more visible or showing respects or what. Tons of footprints from the birds all around here. Some feathers left behind. Wow. All right. Well, it's most likely the last thing I'm going to record for you. Lots more interesting things down that way that I hope to see another day beautiful rock formations and a whole nother part of the beach I haven't even been to yet. Bye.